Central Highlands Water is thrilled to be the community partner for the 2019 Ballarat Photo Biennale. Using the theme of waterworks, this exhibition, dating back to the 1850s, shows the close relationship the water has had with the communities with which we serve. The Ballarat International Photo Biennale is a major arts festival here in historic Ballarat. Every two years we activate more than a hundred locations with photographic exhibitions. My name's Cash Brown and I'm the curator of the Waterworks exhibition. It's 101 images selected from four and a half thousand photos in the Central Highlands Water Archive. The wonderful thing about working with such an expansive archive is the variety of photography and different mediums that have been used throughout the decades, from recording civic works through to amateur photographers who were using things like these box brownies on site to take photographs of people at work and different events that were happening in the workplace. These are actually really hard to use, so it's quite remarkable the quality of some of these tiny little photos has come up so well. A really significant amount of the photographs that are in the archives that have been reproduced for this exhibition come from the, the press photographs taken by the Ballarat Courier since uh, 1957. We've got some extraordinary stories including the first water patrols set up by Central Highlands Water to make sure that people aren't got, haven't got their sprinklers on during restrictions. A lot of it's about social engagement, we've got stories about Christmas trees going up, we've got stories about burst pipes, we've got stories about environmental sustainability and about economic sustainability and they're really important stories that would otherwise remain hidden from public view. I'm not supposed to have favourites but if I am asked about which one is my favourite in the whole exhibition it would have to be this photograph here of the Moorabool Reservoir being constructed in 1914 to 1915. What's really remarkable about this photograph is that it shows hundreds and hundreds of people working with horses to build this dam. But it's during the First World War when there was a man drought anyway. The other incredible thing about it is that it shows the, how the, some of the construction methods for these dams, which is still really valuable to engineers working for Central Highlands Water today. While digging around in the archives, I uncovered some pretty incredible stories, not least of which is the fact that there have been a forestation policy which started in 1882. Thousands of different trees were planted all around the reservoirs, but as it turns out, a lot of them were eaten by rabbits and destroyed by bushfire. Eventually, a lot of different pine species were chosen, and they have two functions. One of them is to keep the water clean as it runs into the reservoirs in the catchment areas, and the other thing is, is that the company made money out of it by chopping them down and turning them into cases, which were used mainly for the fruit and bottling industry, and they were also massive employers during and after the Second World War. So the archive effectively finishes in 1994 with the advent of the digital era and that's when the photographs in the exhibition finish as well. So these wonderful colour photographs showing uh, people dealing with various water-based issues represent the end of an era. The Ballarat International Photo Biennale would like to thank the generous sponsorship and support of the Central Highlands Water.